hi guys, it's Inam Gafour here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and we're going to take a look at how to organise a gallery on this Android powered monster. So I'm running Android Jelly Bean, so if I go to menu, settings and then go down to about device, you can see I'm running Jelly Bean 4.11 and we're going to take a look at how to organise a gallery because I get quite a few questions regarding this and some of you can't seem to do it. So if you go to my folder, multimedia folder, then gallery it will display the thumbnail view of all the folders that I've got on my device and it kind of automatically groups them into like Instagram photos or camera photos or anything that I've uploaded really. So the way in which you can organize this, you can see I've got a raft of photos in my camera folder here. Say I want to group some of the Nexus 7 ones that I've got at the top. You can't really group them together within this folder but you can create other folders and get them displaying in the gallery area here. And the way in which you can do that is go to menu and then you'll see an option in there which says new album and say if I call this one just Nexus 7 hit OK it then appears on the left hand side and you can see it says drag here so you can it's pretty self explanatory really you just select the ones that you want and drag them over so if I just do the top three there which are selected via ticks hold them down they kind of all group together and drag and drop what it says there they kind of grey out just simulating that they've been moved. All I need to do is hit save along the top and then it lets us know do you want to copy or move them. Now I don't want to have duplicates all over the phone so I'm going to want to move them and it quickly moves them and then you can see it's now displaying the thumbnail view of the Nexus 7 folder which has got the three images in there. If I just come out of it there you'll notice there's one extra folder where it says Nexus 7 and the three photographs in there. You'll also notice the camera folder thumbnail has now changed to the most recent image within that folder which is no longer the, the Nexus 7 images. So if we now click through to the Nexus 7 images here these are the ones that we moved. Now you can't organize these further in terms of file name or alphabetically or anything like that because the system automatically puts them in order of when the photographs were actually taken so you can't go further and be specific in terms of what order they appear in because it automatically puts them in order of when they were taken not by image name or anything like that so if you wanted to change their image names for that matter you can try but it won't allow you to organize them in order of name because it, it organizes them in order of when they were taken so date and time so if we go back one Again, you've got the thumbnail view there. That's how quickly you can organize your gallery on Android Jelly Bean 4.11. Now, you can also use the folder view. So if you don't want to use the gallery to organize it, you can also use folder view, which is also the same as doing it on a, an Android ice cream sandwich device. So we'll just let go of the Galaxy Note. If I bring in my trusty Samsung Galaxy S2, and now this is running, if I go to settings, and then about device it's running Android version 4.0.3 so Android ice cream sandwich so if I go into the gallery application on here it's slightly different to the Android Jelly Bean one because from the menu here if I go to menu the only options you have are more delete and send via and if I hit more nothing happens so you can't create new folders on ice cream sandwich or anything before Android Jelly Bean 4.1 however you can manually update and organize folders from any Android operating system including Jelly Bean 4.1 and I'm going to demonstrate it on this Galaxy S2 so if we come out of here again you don't need to be rooted or anything fancy to your phone you just need to have the my files file explorer that came with the device so if we go to there and then navigate to the DCIM folder it should appear under one of the folders here we go DCIM that's essentially where the camera puts all of its files and then if you go to camera you can then see all the imagery that is there and hence all the trees that I have there as well so what we're going to be doing is organizing about four or five of the images from here into a separate folder called trees now if we we'll go to menu and then move it then puts tick boxes next to everything within here just to make it a little bit easier so I'm gonna select say that one that one and we'll do a 
there we go we'll do it up to there up to danger deep water and then what we'll do is we'll hit move and then it says where do you want to move it to I don't have a new folder so I want to create one called just park and then hit OK and then we should see a folder in here called park at some point there we go park and then I'm gonna move here there we go and it's moved all those kind of tree images out of the DCIM folder and put it in the park folder so now if I go to home and then go back into the gallery we should see a separate folder there so there we go if I go back into camera notice the number of images has come down to 135 and it is just before the danger deep water as we saw there so if we come out of that there should be another folder here called park there we go park 10 images there those are the images that we moved across as you can see similarly as within the Android Jelly Bean operating system you can't change the order in which they appear you can change the file names um, but that still doesn't change the order in which they appear because it keeps them in the order in which they were taken so date and time so but this is another way that you can organize your images within the gallery application certainly on ice cream sandwich in terms of Android and also a bit more easier using Jelly Bean Android 4.1 at least. Any questions or comments you guys have got, hit them up down in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you anything at all and it's totally free. And you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.